Okay, now we have our column that removes n pentane. We're now going to design our next column, which removes n hexane. And we're going to do this as a means of recapping what we've just done. So we're going to recap how to use a shortcut column. We're going to recap how to set up and converge a rigorous column. So we're going to start our shortcut column from the residue that comes from our real rigorous column up here. So I've put a material stream on the flow sheet. I'm going to define that from T101 residue. And I'm going to call it a sensible name, which is going to be T101 residue duplicate. Okay. Next step, let's drop a shortcut column onto the page. Let's set the shortcut column up such that we have T101 residue duplicate as its feed. And we've got T102 condenser energy. We've got T102 distillate. We've got T102 reboiler, uh, reboil duty. And we've got T102 residue. Okay, let's set up our key components. And we recognize that this column needs to essentially split N hexane from N heptane. So the light key in the residue is going to be N hexane. Our heavy key in the distillate is going to be N heptane. Now we want to try and achieve as good a split as possible. So I'm going to say um, 0.05 light key in the residue, 0.05 mole fraction of heavy key in the distillate. We're still running the column at four bar. So it's four bar condenser and reboiler. We have a minimum reflux ratio calculated of 2.27. So we're going to use 1.2 times 2.27, which gives us 2.7 as our specified reflux ratio. That's our first guess. And that gives us the all okay. So let's have a look at what has been calculated. We have 8.2 minimum stages. We've got 19 real stages. So I'm going to note these down, 19 real stages. Our optimal feed stage is 10.6. We can't have a fractional stage. It's between 10 and 11. 10 and 11 I'm going to note down. I've got a condenser temperature of 114, a reboiler temperature of 160 odd. That's all fine. Let's see, we go back to our design. Our reflux ratio is 2.7. And if we close this screen and just examine the streams coming out, we have a flow rate of 26.83 for our distillate. Okay, so what we'll do now is take the data from that shortcut simulation tool into our rigorous tool. So I'm going to single left click my rigorous tool and drop that on the page here. When it appears, I'll now double left click it, and we end up with this setup sequence that we saw with the previous column T101. So the inlet stream is T101 residue. The condenser energy is going to be T103 condenser energy. I'm going to have a total condenser this time because I don't have a methane problem to deal with. And so my residue, I'm going to call T103 um, sorry, my distillate, I'm going to call T103 distillate. My reboiler energy, I'm going to call T103 reboil energy. My residue is going to be T103 residue. And I need in this column 19 stages. So I set my stage count to 19. And I'm going to set my inlet stage as stage 10. Okay, so that completes all the material stream setup. Let's go to the next page. We set our pressures, four bar top and bottom still. The reality is there would have been a slight pressure drop across heat exchangers, pumps and so on between these two columns. But that's a, the next layer of detail that we would look at in a design. I'm going to skip over the optional temperature estimates and we're going to specify my reflux ratio of 2.7 and my liquid rate of 26.83. And of course, that's all we have to specify because we no longer have that extra degree of freedom that was introduced by that purge. So I'm going to click done. My distillation 
simulation control screen comes up. I'm going to go to my monitor screen. I'm going to run. I see I have column convergence, but I know from the last time around, I need to be very aware what has been converged. So I'm going to close this screen and I'm going to interrogate the compositions of the distillate and of the residue. Don't forget that the aim of this column is to separate out n-hexane. It's not doing too bad a job. We've got 77.5% on a molar basis n-hexane in the distillate, which means that this column is operating a lot closer to what we want it to right from the outset compared to the previous column, T101. There's still plenty of scope, however, for improvement. There's too much pentane in this stream, and there's a lot of heptane and octane as well. So let's double click on the column again and go back to our monitor page. And again, as before, we're going to add in some different specifications. Now, the specification that we want for the distillate is going to be a mole fraction specification. So column component fraction will be what I select. I'm going to add that specification. I'm looking at a stream, which is my distillate. I'm looking at component, which is my n-hexane. And my specification on a molar basis is going to be 95%. I'm going to leave the extra specifications as it is right here for the time being. I have fewer degrees of freedom on this distillation column, so hopefully just by swapping distillate rate for this um, specification of n-hexane in my distillate, I should get some degree of convergence. Now note, there is a significant difference between what I've specified and what's been calculated. So as before, we'll set those two to be equal to start with. We'll take our specification of distillate rate and put it on component fraction. And again, it converges immediately because they're the same as it was. And I'm going to increase this slightly up to 0.8. And it can't solve. This is quite interesting. So I'm going to try and increase my reflux ratio a touch. And it has solved. So if your component fraction doesn't or if your column doesn't converge immediately to your specifications, your reflux ratio may simply be too low. Don't forget it's your reflux ratio that is driving the separation in the top half on the rectifying section of the distillation column. So I've achieved a component fraction for hexane of 0.8. Let's go to 0.85. Again, it hasn't achieved it. Let's up the reflux ratio a bit. Let's up it to 5 and see what happens. It can only get to 0.84. What happens if we go to 10? we don't really achieve our specification. So something here is inhibiting the convergence. Before we go any further here, I'm going to put these specifications back to where they were, and we're going to examine a little more closely what the compositions actually are. So my distillate composition has got 84% hexane, but 15% pentane. So there's nothing we can do with the distillation column operation for this column to change that because the pentane specification comes from this column. And this sometimes is a very common problem when people are trying to converge column sequences to certain specifications. They get very dug in on the column that they're, look that they're looking at, in this case T103, trying to solve a problem when the origin of the problem can be several columns back in the column sequence. So always take a big picture view whenever you can. So the problem here isn't with T103. It's doing pretty well given the fact that it's got an impure feed. So what we need to do is actually manipulate the column before it, T101, and we need to drive down that amount of pentane present in the residue. So if we look at the residue composition, we'll see we've got about 0.047 mole fraction, um, sorry, mole percent of n-pentane. If we open up this column control panel for T101 and look in the monitor, we'll see that we've got a lot of NC5 in our distillate, which is good, but we haven't said anything about the recovery of NC5 in our distillate. So I'm going to add a specification now, which is going to focus on the recovery of n-pentane. So I'm going to add specification, column component recovery. We're looking at a stream. 
We're looking at n-pentane. We're looking at the distillate stream. And what we would like to do is to increase the amount of recovery. So at the moment, we've got 55% recovery of n-pentane in our distillate, which is just simply not enough. So as before, we're going to set our specification value to that that's been calculated. We're going to click off reflux ratio and click on that specification. It's converged immediately because our specification and our calculation are the same. And we're going to see if we can just subtly increment this. 0 0.6, it can achieve. 0.65, it can achieve. 0.7, it can achieve. 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9